Welcome to SimTour Project Episode 5, PlayStation 5 Edition. All of these setups are powered by a PlayStation 5 console and I have no idea how any of them managed to actually get one. Real quick before we get started, close to 90% of my viewers are not subscribed, so if you enjoy this video and want to see more, hit the subscribe button and press the like button as it massively helps my channel grow. And with that being said, let's get into it. And starting off with what is probably the cleanest setup I've ever featured, we have Giovanni. He's a 45 year old from the Netherlands and it's taken him around 4 years of slowly upgrading and making changes to get this setup to where it is today. Giovanni is using the Fanatec GT DD Pro which he uses with his PlayStation 5 to play Gran Turismo 7, Assetto Corsa Competizione and the F1 titles. On his DD Pro, he's using the Fanatec Formula V 2.5 which looks incredible. On top of the wheelbase, he's also using a 7 inch Samsung tablet, which he's using as a digital dash display with the SIM dashboard app. Down below, he finishes off the Fanatec ecosystem with the Clubsport V3 load cell pedals with what appears to be the optional hydraulic dampening kit. Holding all of this up, he's using the PlaySeat Challenge, which is an affordable cockpit but not really designed for this high end gear. As a result, Giovanni has attached a third party reinforcement kit to keep it sturdy when in game. Moreover, he has also added a butt kicker gamer 2 onto it for more in-game immersion. Finally, the massive display is the LG CX 65 inch TV with some incredibly thin bezels. And for some added effect, he has also added the Philips Hue behind the TV to shine some ambient light. My favorite part of this entire setup is how modern and simple it looks. Everything paired with the stone wall, modern TV stand, wood floor, and plants give this entire setup an incredible look and feel. For all of this, he estimates that he has spent around 2000 euros. Giovanni, congratulations on your very nice setup and thank you for submitting. Next up we have Zach. Zach is a 13 year old student from Ireland and somehow he managed to get his hands on a PlayStation 5. For a 13 year old he has a pretty sick setup. He's using the Vivor wheel stand to hold up his Logitech G923 we own pedal set. Most wheel stands do a good job holding up beginner gear, not taking up too much space and are usually on the lower end of the scale when it comes to price. Paired with the wheel stand, he's using a generic gaming chair he got for Christmas which looks good and fits the motorsport aesthetic. And to go along with his PS5, he has the PlayStation VR for ultimate immersion. I'm also a fan of the decor Zach has placed around his setup which includes a few LEGO sets, lit up PlayStation icons, and the LEGO Technic 488 GTE set which is something I'm looking to get myself, eventually. All of this has costed him an estimated 1500 euros which is pretty good considering that some people spend that on just their PC alone. In fact, next week's episode will feature only the most expensive rigs so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. Anyway, thank you Zach for submitting your very cool setup. Moving on we have Mike, he's a 36 year old living in the United States and his setup is used to play Gran Turismo 7 and Assetto Corsa Competizione. It's taken him around 2 months and an estimated $1800 to complete but it certainly got him a good looking and functional setup. He's using the 8Nm GTDD Pro alongside the included Gran Turismo wheel rim and the McLaren GT3 V2. Down below he continues the Fanatec ecosystem with the Clubsport V3 load cell pedals with the brake performance kit attached. Holding up all of this gear, he's using the Tankara cockpit he got off eBay and has attached an NRG FRP330 seat onto it. It seems he has also added some LED strips on the bottom of his seat to add a glowing effect. Moreover, he attached a mount up monitor arm he got off Amazon onto the chassis and that's holding up his 165Hz Samsung Odyssey G35T curved display. Essentially, he managed to get an integrated monitor stand for less than 50 bucks. Considering that monitor stands are usually very expensive and take up a lot of room, this seems like a genius solution to hold up a monitor in a discreet way. Powering all of this is of course the PlayStation 5 and he does a great job discreetly routing all of his cables around his chassis and all the way back into the cable management box. The only question I have for Mike is why he decided to place his rig facing away from the wall rather than at it. I'm sure he has a good reason and I'm just curious as it's uncommon to see. Anyway, thank you Mike for sharing your setup.
And next up with another super clean setup we have Ben. He's a 39 year old living in the United Kingdom and I love his whole setup because not only does it look cool, but it's surprisingly functional. Ben is using the Playseat Trophy with the low down shifter mod, which also comes with a cup and controller holder. You can see he's placed his phone, AirPods, coffee, and PlayStation controller and headset all right next to him for maximum functionality. With regards to his hardware, he opted to go with Thrustmaster. He's using the T300RS GT Edition wheelbase along with the included GT wheel and the Sparkle P310, which is a widely underrated rim. Alongside that, he's got the TSS handbrake slash sequential shifter, and down below he's got the GT Edition T3PA pedals. Ben also has the PlayStation VR headset, which he occasionally uses to play Dirt Rally on his, you guessed it, PlayStation 5. Looking at his setup, I'm impressed by how good looking his PlaySeat Trophy cockpit looks. The unique design of the chassis, paired with a comfy looking seat and great cable management, fits his room very well. Finally, he's using a curved 49 inch Samsung TV, which is placed onto the TV insert built into his wall. While that looks cool, it unfortunately means that it's a bit too high up when he's sitting down. The only solution I could think of that wouldn't involve moving his TV is to create a wooden platform to elevate his entire rig a few feet up and get it up into an optimal height. It'll be a lot of work, but that's just some food for thought. Overall, I love the entire look of Ben's room with the guitars, ambient lighting, and unique shape. The estimated cost of a setup with the PS5 is around 2200 euros. Thank you Ben for submitting and make sure to let me know if you ever come up with a solution to raise up your rig. Ending off the episode strong, we have Joe Bunny, a 29 year old graphic designer living in Texas who primarily uses a setup to play Gran Turismo 7 and ACC. Giovanni clearly has immaculate taste as both him and I use the Track Racer TR120 paired with the red and black recline seat. On it, he has a lot of solid gear including the 8Nm Fanatec GT DD Pro with the included Gran Turismo wheel rim as well as the load cell CSL pedals with the optional tuning kit. You may have seen his headphones hanging on his rig, that is the Logitech G935 whose red accents match well with everything else. Behind his chassis, he has a Sony 4K 65-inch TV with his PlayStation 5 next to it. Giovanni clearly has a lot of solid gear, all of which added up has an estimated cost of around $3,000, making this the most expensive setup in today's episode. My main recommendation, especially if he's using his TV exclusively with his rig, would be to purchase the integrated monitor stand and hook up his display right onto his cockpit. That would not only look cool and save space, but it would also allow him to move his rig into a more discreet location rather than in the middle of his living room. Other than that, he seems to have everything sorted out well. Thank you Giovanni for submitting. And just like that, this wraps up episode 5 of SimTor Project. If anything here caught your eye, I'll have most of the products linked in the video description. If you enjoyed this video, consider pressing the like button as it massively helps with the algorithm, and consider subscribing if you want to see more episodes like this. With that being said, thank you all for watching, stay safe, and have a fantastic rest of your day.